Hi. <laughs> uh, I'm, my name is Hank Shaw, and I run a wild foods website called Hunter Angler Gardener Cook. And uh, I focus on all things wild. If you can't buy it, then it's in my purview. So what I'm going to do today is make a Spanish recipe called chilindron. And chilindron is uh, it's a classic uh, central Spanish stew from Aragon. And it, it is lots of red things. So it's uh, tomato paste and uh, roasted capsicums and both smoked in regular paprika. And the cool thing about this uh, stew is that it uses any meat you want to use. And my favorite thing to use is either venison or uh, rabbit or chicken, um, but I also use a lot of ducks, and that's what we're going to do today, uh, except we're not going to use a regular duck, we're going to use pukiko and parry legs. And uh, this is a, an underutilized piece of meat. Uh, most people just keep the breasts. And what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to use the thighs of the animals. And uh, thighs are different from drumsticks, and I'm going to show you exactly how to separate the two um, to, make, uh, to make an easier stew that is much, much easier to, to, to make and to cook and to eat. So most people don't keep the legs on uh, ducks and geese. And uh, one of the reasons, uh, especially for walking birds like pheasants and pukikos, is this. If you see that, these are ferocious sinews. And these sinews are all through this meat. And you can eat this but it requires long stewing, and then you have to pick the drumstick out and pull off all the good meat and throw away all the sinews. An easier way is to separate the thigh meat right here. Uh, to if you separate this thigh meat from right here, all this is is one bone. There's no sinew, uh, and it's very, very easy to cook and very, very easy to, to eat. It's just like a chicken thigh, except a little bit smaller. So what you want to do is you'll notice there's an angle on every leg. Pheasant, pukiko, goose, uh, or, or peris, ducks, they all have very similar angles. And it's very much like a chicken. So what you want to do is to take the leg and find out where it bends. And you'll notice, if you think that that is the knee, that's not the knee. The knee's actually up here. Watch. See where it bends? This is the joint right here. And you'll notice this fat line. And the fat line is kind of where you want to put your knife. See right here? There's that fat line right there. Now, we, when you do that, all you have to do is find it. You, you work with your knife, and then when you find he bone here, don't cut. No bone here, comes right through. I didn't cut any bone. I went between the two bones. And this, uh, you can stew it and pull the meat off, or you can throw it away, or you can give it to the cat. This, this is what you want. This is a, uh, there's only one bone in this, and this is all this meat with just the thigh bone, just like a tiny little chicken thigh. And this again, all sinews in here. No sinews in here. So I'm going to take these thighs and I'm going to brown them in olive oil. You can use any, any fat you want, but olive oil would be traditional with a, a Spanish dish. Now, if you see that, you don't want to crowd the pan. If you crowd the pan, the meat will steam and not brown. So you have to take your time on this one. Even though we have all of these thighs, you have to put them in a few at a time. If you don't, it won't work. They'll turn gray and they won't brown. And, and browning is what we want. Salt them as they cook. So in this stew goes uh, sliced onion. Uh, dried mushrooms, parsley, 
oops, <laughs> tomato paste, roasted uh, capsicums, some stock, paprika, and a little bit of red wine. Uh, any kind of red wine will do. And if you're doing something with rabbit or with chicken or with another light meat, you're going to use a white wine. Uh, that's the only difference between uh, whatever meat you use. Red meats, red wine, white meats, white wine, everything else is the same. It's pretty easy. So in go the onions. Once the, uh, the, once the meat is browned, then you uh, use maybe three to four uh, small onions that are chopped lengthwise like this. And this will be kind of the main vegetable in the stew. So after the onions are brown, and you throw in garlic, uh, as much as you want, really, up to a head, but at least two cloves. Um, you throw in some tomato paste. How much? At least one, two, three spoonfuls. If you want, you can add a little more. Mix it in, and let it cook for two minutes. So these are jarred roasted capsicums, chopped up pretty small, maybe two, maybe three. And these are dried mushrooms. Any kind of dried mushroom will do. Stir that in. See this brown stuff here? You want to use a wooden spoon and scrape it off the bottom. It's good stuff. Now for the wine. These are uh, pukiko legs, so those are kind of red. They're not super red. They're actually they're not nearly as red as I thought they would be. Um, they're kind of the same red as a pheasant leg. So I could have gone white, I could have gone red, but I'm going to go red. I'm going to use a little bit of New Zealand Pinot Noir. Mix that in. You see how it thickens? The reason it's thickening is because it's mixing with the tomato paste. If you've ever made a roux, a, a uh, flour and butter roux, this is a uh, Spanish uh, version of it. Tomato paste and wine forms the same thickening sauce. See how it's almost gone? Let this cook just until you can't smell any more alcohol. If you can smell alcohol, let it cook maybe two minutes. Now the meat goes back in. Along with all the juices that accumulated. Some oregano or marjoram. Just a couple pinches. A little bit of chili flakes, and quite a lot of paprika. This is, this is smoked paprika. Um, you don't want as much of this as you do because it can overpower the dish, but kind of sprinkle over the top. And then you want quite a lot of regular paprika. Make it snow, make it snow red. This is maybe, um, two or three tablespoons. In goes stock. Stir this up.
As long as the meat is covered, you're good to go. If, uh, you are, if the meat is still sticking up and you've run out of stock, add water. Let it simmer until it's done. So how do you know when it's done? It'll, it'll need at least, at least 90 minutes, yeah, even with chicken thighs. Although you might be able to get away with it for with one hour with chicken thighs, everything else is going to take a little bit more time. Something like a wild duck leg or a pheasant thigh or a pukiko thigh um, will probably take about two hours and possibly two and a half. Um, just let it simmer very slowly and eventually the meat will get tender and it will want to fall off the bone. That's when you uh, that's when we that's when you know it's ready. It's been a little over two hours um, again uh, This is the only Variable part about cooking with wild game is you don't know if it's going to be 90 minutes or if it's going to be two hours Or if it's going to be three hours as it happens uh, the pukiko legs took about two and a half hours and um, I've taken them all off the bone and shredded them off and now you have a beautiful rich thick uh, Spanish stew and ready to eat. It's a very thick stew. Uh, you'll want some bread to go with it. A little bit more meat. After all, you worked hard to get your pukikos, your blue pheasants. And uh, there you go.